They managed to make The Exorcist not interesting. Let's talk about it. Welcome back everybody, my name is Caleb and I love diving just a little bit deeper into our favorite TV shows and movies. If you can relate, let me down in the comments section letting me know what you thought of the new Exorcist movie. Did you love it? Did you hate it? How does it live up to the other sequels and does it even live up to the original? I'm going to talk about all of that in a second, but if you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button, letting me know that you enjoy the kind of content that we put out here. And without further ado, let's get into the review. Let's talk about the good first. The one thing that I do really want to talk about with this movie is how good I thought the cinematography was. There were multiple shots where I was like, wow, that's actually kind of cool. And there, it wasn't just like one shot. There were multiple shots where I was like, oh, wow. Like, and even in the trailer, I think they had some cool little shots that they were doing. And for that, I applaud them. I think that the cinematography in the movie was pretty, pretty darn good. So whoever was on that role, I applaud you. <laughs> I thought the third act was fine. I didn't think it was crazy or anything special. Um, I enjoyed it for what for what they did. And obviously it's an exorcist movie. Someone's going to get, I don't want to say exercised because that's like working out, but have an exorcism essentially. And it happens. There's a few surprises like the one girl doesn't make it. Um, but there's nothing like out of the ordinary that really happens, you know besides like the priest getting his head turned around Which again was one of the key moments of the movie that I thought was awesome. I think that it was just Yeah, I'm gonna let's go into the mixed part of this review So the whole movie they barely they do focus on the girls But like the main focus is almost between the the parents like they have this whole like rival I don't want to say it's a rivalry going but it's almost like they can't like make up their mind of like Oh, whose fault was it that they went into the what? Who cares? Who cares? I certainly don't. It, maybe it was like a funny, like, like, or like a good pl plot thing to start with, but they keep going with it throughout the entire movie. And I'm like, let it go, let it go. And they just don't. And it's like, oh, well, you, your daughter was like this. And, and it's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Like the focus needs to be on them. And then one of them, I, one of them gets put in an insane asylum and we really don't see her for much. And it's just like, wh why would you can your one of your you know stars of your movie? I don't really get that, personally. Let's move on to the bad here. Easily the worst thing about this movie is its script. It really just does not work that well. They even incorporate, you know, some of the original cast from the original movie. And it, for me, barely makes a difference. I mean, sure, it's a fun cameo, but does it really make all that much of a difference in the story? I don't know. I don't really know. And the whole time, all I could think about was, are they just trying to fill up the runtime in this movie? Is that all they are really doing here? Because that's what it felt like they were doing. It felt like I was just watching and it was like, oh, we're just filling up the runtime, aren't we? Yeah, probably. I think the one of the other big things for me was that it just felt like this movie couldn't find its where it wanted to go direction wise it felt like are we gonna go over here are we gonna go over here and it just felt like they had to have you know what it felt like it felt like the trailer came before the actual movie like they're like okay how do we want to shoot the trailer to make sure people want to go see this and then when it came to time to actually shooting the movie they were like mm, i don't really know how we're gonna do this but it looked cool in the trailer right well i mean we obviously know that the movie come came first but that's what I'm saying. That's what it felt like. It felt like the trailer was just like way better than the movie, like way better. For that, I'm a little bit disappointed because I do really like the Exorcist series. And again, I think that they did a really good job with the horror elements and what they were trying to go for, like the possession. And that's that stuff is great, but it doesn't make up for a bad lack of script and like almost no direction in the movie. So for me, that is just something that I was not a fan of in this movie. So yeah, guys, I know this is a pretty short one. That's because quite honestly, I don't have much to say about this. There really isn't a whole lot that goes on in this movie. It's mostly just like, boo, it's spooky, scary, and just a lot of like filler moments. Um, I wish I did have more to say for you guys, but that's pretty much all that happens in the movie. 
So let me know what your thoughts are on The Exorcist Believer and what your thoughts are on just The Exorcist series as a whole, which is your favorite. Personally, I'm a fan of the original. I think it doesn't get better than that, but I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.